Oh, hello. Oh, let me get this focus real quick. Okay, uh, guys. I need help with this elephant grass. Also known as napier grass. I've been having trouble having success with these elephant grass. Uh, usually, I have no trouble germinating. Uh, I failed doing indoor because right when they're exposed to the sunlight outside, they begin to fall. But usually, what, they're like two inches and a half to three inches and a half tall and they begin to fall down right when they're exposed to the outside sunlight. The only reason why I bring them outside is because right when they're inside as well, they begin to fall down. So I'm guessing they need something even stronger. But right now I'm planting these guys outside. Uh, there's three types of soils I've been using. Potted mix, organic soil. I used uh, potted mix soil with uh, play sand. And now I'm using this uh, miracle Grow pond mix. Uh, usually they get this, well not, usually they begin to grow like this, but about like uh, that tall, they begin to fall down. But right now I'm planting these outside. This isn't a big pot. I have one right there in the ground and the other, and I have another one right exposed to the direct from ground and it's having a good success. I use these cups so they get all the humid in there. Well, this one has a hole right here. That one does it. But yeah, guys, I need help. The reason why I ha need elephant grasses for my sulcata tortoises so I can feed them low nutrients. Grass. <clears throat> oh, so. well, that's pretty much it. I'll wrap it up. Thank you, guys.